quality is the most important function that we have here. Technically, our jobs and our customers do not approve our job to ship unless quality passes. But tighter tolerance parts are extremely important because it leads to reliability and durability for your vehicles, which is why now you get over 100,000 miles on your vehicles because quality is maintained on serious, relevant components in your vehicle. The importance of quality. It means a lot to all of us, I am sure, but Pete has been doing this for 25 years or more, from the evolution of calipers to what we see behind us now here at EMAG. So we're gonna learn what quality means to EMAG and to my friend here as well. So how are we doing, brother? Very well, good morning. Uh, quality to me is, is fitness for use, if you wanna break it down by its accurate def definition. And quality is important because you want all your vehicles to run properly. You don't want to drive down the road and have your transmission fall out on you. So quality is quite important. And as we evolve into the machine tool, quality with tighter tolerance parts are extremely important because it leads to reliability and durability for your vehicles, which is why now you get over 100,000 miles on your vehicles because quality is maintained on serious, relevant components in your vehicle. You're absolutely right, Pete. And I've actually had a transmission fall out. So thanks for bringing that memory yep, up yep, again. Yep. And you're right. I could have used your quality at that time as well. Mm -hmm. So we have a couple of Zeiss machines behind us. You've been doing this for 25 years. You mentioned a transmission. You mentioned a car. We mm -hmm. know that you guys do a lot of gears here as well. And you worked yes. in the automotive industry for a long time at EMAG, mm -hmm. right? Yes, I have. So when it comes to the quality and what EMAG places on quality and you being in charge of it, how important is quality to EMAG as a whole? Quality is the most important function that we have here. Obviously, I'm a little jaded in my opinion on that, but technically our jobs and our customers do not approve our jobs to ship unless quality passes. You could have other small minor issues, whether it's uh, uh, something you have to uh, adjust electrically on a floor or an alignment for, for a component on the machine, but unless the features on a customer's parts passes quality and statistical evaluation, the machine goes nowhere. So quality is literally the most important thing that helps our machine ship out and keep our customers happy. And correct me if I'm wrong, Pete, but you guys do some turnkey operations here to make sure your customers are getting the products that they want. So when you get a product sit brought to you in here and you mm -hmm. test the quality of that component, mm -hmm. that helps sell the machines as well for the sales guys, right? Absolutely. We just got through, as a matter of fact, doing a test cut for a supplier that's purchased machines from us before, but it was a new process. And to help support that process, we had to set up measurement and evaluation for surface finish to make sure that it would meet our customers' exacting standards. So it's dimensional and surface finish wise, and that basically leads itself to sales somewhere down the line as long as we as long as our we have a successful test cut and it provides the parameters our customers want to see which more often than not we do but if for whatever reason there is an unsuccessful test cut you get to go then work with your engineers to fix it so that your end users and your customers get the product you can't want. work on something unless you know what the problem is so once you know you have a problem with something then you maybe adjust your toolings your speed and feeds maybe it's something with the hardness of the part or maybe it's incomplete information from the customer so all those things go into making a successful test cut that leads to a happy customer hopefully 25 years of wisdom. I tell you, this Pete guy, he's a good one. We're trying. I heard a quote one time that says, you cannot cut a part that cannot be measured. Would you agree with that statement? I would agree with that totally. I would, I would, if I was an engineer, I would think if I can make that part, how can I verify that what I'm making is good? So in my mind, quality is quite important. It always has been for me. Well, here we are at EMAG. Here we are with Pete. 25 years plus of experience. It's very obvious to me how important quality is, and it should be. So, Pete, thank you so much for sharing this story with the audience watching. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time.